So I hope everybody enjoyed that sped up unboxing to see what the product looked like. The Sanavo hot plate. So far, it's built really nicely. It's right in front of me right now. This camera has a really bad crop, so it's just right here. I do have my pot ready for cooking. And I was just thinking to myself, what would be the easiest thing to make? Especially if you're about to graduate in the next month or two and you're gonna live off in that dorm life. The first thing that came into my head was to boil water, make pasta, make noodles, really simple things. But since we're embarking on May tomorrow, graduation season is right around the corner. And for these future college goers, this will be your best friend. It was my best friend, and this will be your best friend. And what better thing to have but a hot plate. Your steady food, that's gonna be your snack, that's gonna be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Especially if you're like me and you're on a pro college kid diet back in the day. So let's boil some water, get the ramen, get the hot plate going, and let's go. So ever since I was younger, I had a best friend who lived in my neighborhood and I saw him make ramen the same exact way to where he kind of drained the noodles and then added like three-fourths of the mix after. So he put a little bit of the mix in before to make the broth tasty, I guess. And then he would just make this dry ramen. And from that point on, whenever I wanted a quick snack, I would try not to scratch the... Try not to scratch pots with forks, I should have gotten wooden or something. From that point on, I've always liked ramen dry. When I was younger, I always thought it had to be super gourmet where it had an egg and all of the toppings in there. Kind of like what how Naruto would have in the ramen shop. So I learned that day that people make ramen in different ways. And if you want to tell me how you make ramen, let me know in the comments below. That's it, ta-da! Ramen dinner is over now. Put them all to Look how beautiful it looks in my gamer bowl. Level cleared. <laughs> this is a really good hot plate and I think it would be a perfect addition to a dorm room, to a camper, RV without a stove, or even a person going on a long trip. Because most hotel rooms only have a microwave or a coffee maker. Unless you go to one of those extended stays or something where they have a whole kitchen. You know, and sometimes you want to save money on a trip and maybe you're going to eat ramen on a trip or maybe you're going to make pasta on a trip and you don't want to go out and eat every night. Having a electric hot plate just like this one is a good substitute for an oven and you can make a lot of things on there. I can see bacon and eggs. Bacon eggs. <laughs> Ariana Grande song. You guys hear that too, right? Bacon eggs. Also pancakes, pasta, noodles, everything that you could use on a frying pan or a pot. I firmly believe this thing can handle it. Heats up really quickly. It stays hot and it boils water pretty quick. It took about maybe four to five minutes for that water to boil from an absolute cold hot plate. It was my first time plugging in the hot plate and it got to a boil pretty quickly. I'm enjoying my ramen noodles. And one last tidbit, I'm gonna repackage this and give it to my mom for Mother's Day. Perks of having a YouTube channel, I guess. <laughs> Anywho, I'll see you guys later and have a great day. Oh. <laughs>